All right, we're gonna do two complete system replacements here. Um, return drops are good, so we can reuse existing return drops on both of these. We'll start with this system. This system is for the first floor. It is a three ton system. Um, we're gonna reuse the existing return drop. We'll build in an April Air five inch media cabinet. We're gonna have to move that electrical up just a little bit um, so we can uh, open and close our media cabinet door. Our refrigerant lines are proper size, so we'll reuse existing refrigerant lines. They both run up into the ceiling. Our flue pipe looks good, so uh, we'll break the flue pipe here at the elbow and then come back down into the new furnace with a four inch flue pipe. Gas lines are to code, so we'll reuse the existing gas lines. Our condensate drain line comes out of the unit here and runs down around to the back. And if you can see back there, there's a floor drain and a floor that both of these condensate drain lines run to. Um, and we'll have to rebuild our plenum um, onto the new, the new system. Only thing that concerns me is we do have pretty tight space here to work in. Um, just because the units are so close to one another, but uh, as long as I can get cabinets that that are uh, the proper size, we should be good. Um, let's see here. On this unit, everything's going to be exactly the same as the last one. Reuse the gas lines, reuse the electrical, reuse the refrigerant lines, just flush them out. Uh, new condensate drain line, a new flue pipe from the elbow here back down. Uh, we're pretty tied up against the water heater on that side, so we don't have much room to move. Let me get a quick video or a shot of the back side here. So you got a little bit of space back here to work, but not a ton. That should be uh, pretty much, pretty much it for the furnaces and coils. Um, I'll get a quick shot of the breaker panel for you and then we'll go take a look outside. All right, here's our two outdoor condensers. Um, they're already on a concrete pad, so we'll have to bring some cork leveling pads to get them leveled out or rubber leveling pads to make sure the units are level when we set them down. Um, but we can uh, reuse the existing concrete pad. For our electrical, we'll put new disconnect boxes out here. Um, we'll run new electrical whips down to the unit. Um, we're going to do... Um, new insulation on our line sets for both of these. We'll reuse the existing line set pending our results of our uh, pressure test and nitrogen flush. Um, let's see here, here's your model and serial number for the first floor unit. This is your three ton unit. And here's the model and serial number for your three and a half ton, or two and a half ton, two and a half ton unit. Access is going to be easy. You'll have uh, street parking. You'll be able to park right over there on the road. And then it is a walkout basement, so um, you can wheel the equipment for the um, furnace right down the side of the house here and into the double doors in the back. And that should pretty much be it out here. The next video will be of the breaker panel. All right, here's the load center. It is a square D panel box. And as you can see, the ACs are marked on here. Um, so this is going to be for our second floor unit. That's a 25 amp breaker, and this is a 35 amp breaker. That's going to be for our first floor unit.